I think it is always tremendously encouraging to authors to meet their readers. The whole idea was we were going to do a, a kind of pageant where we'd, we'd start with the, the writer and how the writer worked, uh, wrote a novel, and then how he or she found an agent, and then how that agent found the editor who would want to shepherd this book through the publication. And since Tom teaches this wonderful novel writing workshop, which was the first of its kind in the country, we thought we could highlight that by founding the first novelist award and calling attention to the process of writing a first novel and the wonderful products that were out there as first novels. We really wanted to make this a celebratory event, the, the first novels. The author, of course, it's people who, are, this was their first book. So of course a celebration of, of their first uh, novel is, is um, uh, quite reward itself enough for, for the, most of the writers. And then, then there's the actual check now that we've, it's gone up and how much uh, the award winner receives. But there's also the opportunity to talk about one's book in, 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 to, a, to an audience that's interested in these things. The agents and editors who make the trip to Richmond are not only treated very nicely, um, lavishly wined and dined, and flattered by crowds of eager students and Richmond residents, but it's also a chance for them to meet the upcoming crop of new writers. The most exciting thing about this award for me is the way that it draws people together from all over Richmond in and out of what I think of as the literary community. It's exciting to see people coming up to the novelist afterwards and asking him or her questions and engaging in conversation and really showing the novelist what their novel means to an audience. I think the VCU Cavill First Novelist Award is a key part of our MFA students' education. Everyone who reads novels and helps select the winners gets a chance to really browse through a representative sample of what's being published in this country every year. But I also think that the chance to meet and interact with the agent, the editor, and the novelist is very valuable. Um, the idea that now for 10 years and well over 100 graduate students in our program have had access to this and have met agents and have met editors. Now, you can't get out of this program without having run into somebody like this because they're coming through. A lot of our prospective graduate students are aware of what goes on in this program. And it's one of those things that when students are checking out where they want to go, uh, they're looking for an interesting place, a place that has an award like this. One of the things that we are most proud of is that there is no typical winner. Looking back over the books that have won and the people who have won it, it's been a great variety. It's uh, uh, young writers, very young writers, um, and some not so young writers. The presses range from the small to major. And they are about all kinds of things written in different kinds of voices. It just underscores the fact that Richmond is a major literary city. It's a city notable for having a large number of serious good writers here and a population that's interested in writing.